it's about 5.30 in the morning. I get up, I suit up, um, I have my rolly bag ready to go with my laptop, and then I hit the road. And I'm driving for about anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours. It's high desert, you see Joshua trees, and then you swing a left on Rancho Road and you hit barbed wire and a lot of, um, you know, just basically this massive facility. The logistics of getting out to a detention facility are, they're difficult um, to get counsel out there, to recruit pro bono attorneys to go out there, or even private counsel. Um, people are hidden. Currently, I'm representing a client. He's a Cambodian man and father of three children. He was in um, immigration detention for almost a year after already being ordered removed from an immigration judge. Meaning ICE was holding him indefinitely in detention while waiting for Cambodia to issue his travel documents. What was difficult about it is that Cambodia's repatriation agreement with the United States is sort of in flux right now. What that meant was that ICE was just holding him there. I met him in detention and tried to advocate with ICE to release him, tried to talk to his deportation officer, contacted headquarters in DC, and nothing was working. And so we collaborated with the Federal Public Defender's Office, um, and so they were able to enter an appearance, and within a month of filing that petition, he was released. And so he's now living with his family, his young children, his fiance, um, and we're currently working to see if there's any other forms of relief available for him.